All right. Hey, InfoSec Addicts. How are you guys doing? Uh, Joe McRae here. Uh, let's get ourselves started, okay? Next thing that we should need to know is we should know how to man a file. So if I type man in the file name, it'll give me the manual man, and it tells you how to use that command, right? I press Q to pop out of it, and I can man all the commands that I've been running, right? So the next command that I'm going to run is the PS command. So PS doesn't give me much, right? I have a process, 10535, running bash. I have another process, 10616 running PS. So now you have to stop and ask yourself, well, how do I, what if I PS right like this and I do like an AUX? Now it gives me a massive list of processes. Wow. And I can see some that are run by root, some that are run by Joe. But what if I said, okay, man, well, why don't you show me all those, but only show me the ones that are run by Joe. Okay. So now, if you only want to see a certain thing, you grep for it. So your pipe command takes the output of one command, sends it into the input of another command. Grep is how I say, only show me this, right? So it's a pretty handy little tool. Pretty handy little tool, okay? So now let's go crazy. All right, so some other things that you would probably have to do is manual extraction of files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a directory, mkdir files. Oh, hold on. Let's see what I have in there. I've got one, three, and two. Okay, so let's, let's mkdir files, right? So I make a directory called files. Now, I'm going to cp1 into files, right? Now, if I ls the files directory, right, the file one has now been copied into that directory. Now, I'm going to change directory to the files directory, and I'm going to cp files to Let me CP2 here, like this. Okay, so if you take a look at what I'm doing here, I'm saying go up a directory. The two dots says go up a directory. So copy up to up one directory a word, a file name two to one dot the current directory. If I do that and I do an ls, now the file two is here. I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm going to copy three right here as well. Now three is in there. Now I'm going to tar, create a file, create a file verbose. I'm going to call it files.tar, and I want everything in there. So put all the files, one, three, and two, into a file called files.tar. Tar is a tape archive. Tape archive. So this tape archive file was how people used to back up files to a tape drive. So now that I'm going to do this, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to gzip, right, files.tar. Now you see that I have a file called a files.tar.gz. Now I'm going to remove these files. So now the only thing that's in there is files.tar.gz. Now I'm going to extract tar, z for zip, x for extract, verbose, file, files.tar.gz, and now you'll see him show you the files that he's extracting. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sudo apt install uh, dash y, both zip and unzip. This way, 
This way I can, instead of doing tar, I'm gonna get rid of files.tar. I've still got files one, two, and three, and now I'm gonna zip, right? And I'm gonna call it data and zip everything. Now you'll see that I have a file called data.zip. I'll go back and I'll delete those files one, two, and three again, right? So the only thing that's in there is data.zip. Now I can unzip and just list the contents of data.zip. I can also, instead of unzipping it, I can say, I mean, instead of listing it, I can send all these extracted files I can unzip them to a directory of my choosing. In this case, I'm going to send them to the temp folder. Okay. All right. Next thing that you're definitely going to have to deal with. So CD to my home directory. And I'm going to need to sudo apt uh, install-y vim. Okay. I should already have vim installed. But you definitely need to know some VI, right? So I'm going to VI lesson1.sh. Now, it opens up a text editor. So while I'm in this text editor mode, I'm going to press the letter I. When I press the letter I, that puts me in insert mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a bash script, OK? So I'm going to echo. All right, this is my first time using VI to create a shell script. Okay, and then let's echo. And I'll throw this in there a couple times, yeah. Okay, let's sleep for five seconds. Okay, and I'll echo. Okay, now let's clear the screen. Okay, and let's sleep for three seconds. And then let's actually just clear. So really nothing serious. It's going to print out. This is my first time. You know what? Why don't we go ahead and clear that sucker right there? How about we do that? Okay. So it's going to print out. Okay. This is my first time using VI to create a shell script. Okay. Now what I do is I press my escape key. I hit shift and colon. That puts a colon in the bottom left corner. I'm going to hit W for write, Q for quit. Write is how you save. Quit is how you exit the program. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try to run that. So I want to shamad plus x on lesson one. And let's actually run that sucker. So sh lesson one. Let's run it. So he says, this is my first time using VI to create a shell script. Says, OK, let's clear the screen. And it clears the screen. Ha ha. Hardcore, huh? Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to open up that again. So VI lesson1.sh, I open it up. Now you open up in command mode. Remember how I said you need to get into insert mode. So if you want to get into insert mode, you press I to get into insert mode. I'm not going to go into insert mode right now. I'm going to hit shift colon. Right, that puts me down where I can start doing VI configuration stuff. I'm going to say set number. And now that gives me some line numbers inside of VI. Okay. So now that I've got some line numbers inside of VI, I'm going to go back, shift colon, I put my cursor back in the bottom left. I'm going to say shift excuse me, slash, and then I just want to look for the word echo. If I want to search for something, this is how I search for it. Do you see how it moved my cursor up to line four? Okay, 
So it's just showing me, hey, here's how you search for stuff, okay? All right, so that took me to line four. Now I can also just say shift colon and I can say uh, nine. And then when I hit enter, it drops me down to line nine. So that's just how I move around, right? Now, if I want to delete a line, say this line on line six, if I hit BD, you see how it deleted a line? BD, and it deleted another line, okay? Okay, now maybe I wanna type some characters, right? So if I clear the screen, Maybe I'll press I for insert mode. I'll sleep three more seconds, and now maybe I'll echo. Well, that was interesting. Escape pops me out of insert mode. Escape pops me out of insert mode. Shift colon puts my cursor down in the bottom and now I'll just say WQ, okay? All right, so now if I wanna run it, go back and run it. It's your first time using VI to create a shell script. Okay, let's clear the screen. Clear the screen. No, oh, that was interesting. Okay. So these are the kinds of things that you should definitely know how to do inside of VI. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I really want to get people to start using the channel, start hanging out on InfoSecAddicts.com and hang out on the InfoSec Addicts YouTube channel. Thanks so much. See you again in our next video.